is an outrage. It's an assault on comedy itself. Hello, friends. This is your man Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and we're going to check out uh, Dave Chappelle. Shocking news. <laughs> Attacked on stage after uh, an appearance at the Hollywood Bowl. We're going to go into the story. Thank you, Deadline, for covering this and giving us a little bit of uh, some stuff we can check out here. Frankly, this is stunning, and um, uh, maybe I'll steal Chris Rock's joke, but... I'm pretty sure this wasn't Will Smith. What do we have here? Yeah, it looks like this was updated late last night. Uh, Los Angeles police have identified and arrested the man who allegedly attacked Dave Chappelle on stage at the Hollywood Bowl during the Netflix is a Joke Festival. Police say 23-year-old Isaiah Lee was taken into custody for assault with a deadly weapon. This is crazy, folks. The deadly weapon apparently was a plastic replica gun that contains a knife blade. What? I mean, what? <laughs> I don't know if you know anything about Dave Chappelle nowadays. Dave Chappelle seems to be on all the Mexican supplements, so I'm pretty sure Dave Chappelle could be beating some ass. Uh, right now, Lee is being held on $30,000 bail. Seems a little low for somebody who assaulted someone for assault with a deadly weapon. Apparently, Lee had to be transported to the local hospital for some injuries, probably because he got whooped on by Dave Chappelle's uh, security, or hopefully Netflix's uh, security. I heard a story, too, that Chappelle was actually saying that he felt that he needed more, more uh, security because he felt threatened. I don't know, folks. This just tells you maybe you shouldn't go to L.A. Maybe you shouldn't do anything... In L.A., you should just uh, shouldn't go there. People might be, uh, I don't know, but apparently Chappelle, there, there's very little footage of this because attendees footage was confiscated at the gate, which is a pretty common practice for comedians, especially when they're building their shows and they're going to air them on Netflix and things like that. They don't want people, you know, they're working through material a lot of times. Uh, looks like. Uh, we'll watch it real briefly because we, we have very little here, but uh, let's just take a quick look. Dang. Now, what's amazing about Chappelle, Chappelle is built like a brick house. So he took that hit and just, just took it like a man and didn't nothing. Ha he, you know, it just bounced right off of him. I, I mean, that dude could have really seriously hurt him. And, and if he had gotten him on the ground, maybe he would have stabbed him like, holy cow. That's definitely a uh, uh, something crazy. I'm hearing all sorts of rumors. Don't even want to throw any of this stuff, which is, and even this article is slanted. They're almost implying that th this was Dave Chappelle like deserved this, or that his his words may have caused this. Um. They're saying that, uh, you know, in one posted clip, they, they heard someone, <laughs> they heard Chappelle say it was a trans man. Uh, a reference to his own transphobic remarks, which I don't agree with after watching that, uh, that show. I, I, you, if you think he had transphobic remarks, he clearly didn't watch it. I, I'm a little confused here. Um, but yeah, here's another video. Man that attacked Dave Chappelle at his show at a Hollywood Bowl, had his hands broken and dislocated. Yo, don't go messing around. Don't be assaulting people and you won't get your hands broken. He probably broke his hands after bouncing off the uh, firm stud that is Dave Chappelle. Holy macaroni, this is crazy, folks. Let's take a look at this video. Nope, let's go to the hospital. See you later, fool. Act a fool, get, get you know, play stupid games, get stupid prizes. Just shocking, absolutely shocking. Jamie Foxx was apparently there, and uh, it's just crazy. Hey, <laughs> apparently, Chappelle said, Whenever you're in trouble, Jamie Foxx will show up in a sheriff's hat. Fox was like, I thought I was part of the show. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't even repeat some of the stuff they were saying. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> oh my gosh. He's saying how uh, he may have had a fracas behind stage and uh, because they had to beat that guy up. You know, I, they just said, uh, Jamie Foxx's quote is, listen, I just wanted to say this man is an absolute genius. We've got to make sure we protect him at all times. For every comedian who comes out here, this means everything. You're a genius, you're a legend, and you're not gonna, and we're not going to let nothing happen to you. You know, uh, I'm not going to... I'm going to try to not play the audio here because apparently there's some... Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I think he made some jokes afterwards, but this is just wild. This is wild stuff. Um... But I just, words are not violence, people. You cannot, there's a social contract out there. Um, we cannot break it. Words cannot be violence because if words become violence, guess what? We're going back to dueling times. You know what happened to dueling times? I slap you and I shoot you or I stab you with a sword. We cannot go back to that. That would be regression. We have all come to agree on a social contract that we will not kill each other over words because if we keep doing this, things are gonna get ugly and things are gonna get bad. You know, I, I don't want either side to get anybody hurt. This is not really appropriate. You know, even Kathy Griffin had something to say, but like, that, seriously, this can't happen. Um, and comedians are our first line of defense, especially when it comes to free speech and all those things. I, I, there's just no room for violence about you know, for this. This can't have this happen. Uh, wild stuff, folks. Wild stuff. But <laughs> Chappelle, man, just working through it, being a being the tough guy that he is. Apparently, you know, I remember when Dave Chappelle, like 20 years ago, was a scrawny little guy, scrawny little stoner, and now he's all ooh, jacked. You see, he wears tight shirts, showing off them guns, baby, them guns. So, what do you think? Are you shocked by this? Uh, do you think that this is this is just an indication of society in general, or is this a one-off? Does Chappelle have more to worry about? Are you concerned for his safety? Do you think he should stop doing things in L.A. and New York and, and some of these crazy cities with all this crime that seems to be rampant? You know, I, I think comedians are a resource. Or they're valuable. They're the critics of our society and help us get through these crazy times. We need them more than ever. We cannot have them be assaulted. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, catch our full-length audio podcast. You can download it anywhere that you can find podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those fun places, totally free to you. We also live stream it Friday nights, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to come join the fun, come contribute. We'd love to have you. Don't forget, last of all, I hope we earned your subscription today. I really hope that you enjoy the content that we bring. And uh, as for me, I'm on to the next one. Oh, <laughs>